Hello everybody. Um, seems to be a long two days on the road and I'm not quite even in Kiev yet, about two hours outside Kiev. Um, and, um, but yeah, making good progress, but one forgets um, that Ukraine is such a large country, second biggest in Europe after Russia. And, um, but, uh, and the roads are often quite challenging as well. So um, yesterday I made it uh, across the border from Poland and into uh, Western um, Ukraine and stayed overnight with a very good friend in uh, um, the town of Drohovic in the Lviv Oblast and then I set off this morning very early. We left um, the house at uh, 6.30 this morning and, um, and then I spent the uh, um, morning um, at the uh, um, Ukrainian Catholic University in Lviv um, co-teaching English to um, second year students and, um, and had a, an early lunch and then set off again and have been on the road um, pretty much all afternoon and evening so far. So yeah, still another two, uh, two hours to go, get to Kyiv, uh, rest up there for 40 hours, need to get my car looked at um, and uh, particularly Ukrainian roads being uh, quite challenging on the, um, on the undercarriage and uh, wheels and then uh, off to Kharkiv um, to do some shopping um, and, uh, and deliver to um, people in need, you know, particularly um, elderly people, disabled people and children, often those who've been living on the front lines um, or in occupied villages and those who've been displaced as well um, because um, their homes were still on the front line or they were destroyed. So there's a lot of really important work to be done and I just want to thank you um, all very much, my supporters, for everything you're doing to, um, you know, to, to, to keep the, um, you know, to keep me going in terms of what I'm able to do um, out here in Ukraine, you know, particularly in the Kharkiv area. So, um, big thank you um, from me, and, um, and there you've got a site of the petrol station where I've just stopped um, to fill up and, um, and grab a coffee before heading off to Kiev.